Hello, Taurus. This is your reading for the last half of November. And I hope you will be enjoying the holidays. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Okay, we have cleansing body and spirit. Okay. We also have the sun and the stars. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have water magic. So what are you... What are you doing at the moment, Taurus? Wow. Hmm. Okay, let's get some more cards. Okay, we have a, in perfect harmony. So I feel like you're going to have a lot of happiness. And number 11. So yeah. Number 11 might be very important for you at this time. And we also have healing the heart. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like, and you have at the bottom, exposed and revealed. Okay, Taurus, what are you up to? I feel like, I feel some confused energy at the moment, Taurus. And I'm trying to... I'm trying to like decipher how it is I'm feeling and I'm it's it's just very confusing at the moment. Number 23. Okay. Let's get some angel cards. See what the angels have to say. You have Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or a pedicure. Yeah, okay. So I think that you're going to be taking time out. You have cleansing bath and cleansing body and spirit. So, and I, yeah, I think you're going to be taking time out to kind of relax and rejuvenate, Taurus. Maybe you're going to go to the spa and for some much needed relaxation. And I'm always dropping cards. Ooh. I'm sorry if I bumped the camera. And two cards wanted to come out, so we'll go ahead and take both of them. Okay, so first off, we got Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Exactly. And you also have Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Okay, so you have protection at this time. You have protection at this time, Taurus. And you also have Serena. And Serena says, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need. And God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, let's get some tarot. Let's see what's going on. Let's see more what's going on. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm seeing that, I mean, through these cards that were pulled, that this is going to be a time to kind of pamper yourself. Give yourself the pampering that 
maybe you've been lacking maybe you've been taking too much time to take care of everybody else and to take care of everybody else's needs and you haven't took took care of any of your own so yeah i think it's time to focus on your needs taurus focus on your needs you have the two of pentacles. Yeah, you've been balancing your priorities. I feel like you've been juggling. You've been juggling a lot of stuff. You've been going through it. Okay, you have the wheel of fortune and the page of swords. So I feel like you're going to be receiving... Some kind of communication that's going to change everything. You're going to receive some kind of knowledge. Some kind of ideas. Someone's going to bring you some information. On some kind of event that you've been waiting for. But I, I feel like this is a good thing. Taurus, I feel I don't feel any bad vibes from this wheel of fortune. I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for. Yeah, you have the lovers. So this could be you'll be receiving a communication that's gonna be about a love interest, maybe. Now, the lovers, that can also mean that you have, oh, well, it can also mean that you have a choice to make. But with the Queen of Cups right underneath there, I feel like this person is going to come in and show you a lot of support, a lot of caring that, that you're certainly needing at the moment. Yeah, you have the Ace of Wands as well. So this is definitely a new beginning. Wow, okay. Have you been kind of manifesting this, Taurus? Have you been manifesting a love interest? You could be moving in together. Yeah, you could be physically moving. You could be moving into something that's more calm, harmonic. Harmonic is what I keep hearing, harmonic. Hmm. And we also have the Six of Cups. So it could be that you're going to be spending a lot of time with, I'm feeling that you're going to spend time with children. Maybe this person that you're moving in with has children. And the King of Cups. Wow, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we also have the Six of Wands. So, I feel like whatever you're manifesting, Taurus, I feel like whatever you are wishing for, whatever you have been working so hard to gain, that it's coming. You're actually, you're, you're actually victorious in this. This is coming. This is something that you've worked very hard for. This and the Six of Wands, they're coming back from battle and they're coming back victorious. They've won the fight. They've fought a good fight. And now they're reaping their rewards. They are being celebrated. So that, that's kind of what I'm feeling for you, Taurus. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, with this Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. The lovers and the ace of wands. I feel like this is uh, this is a beginning you've been waiting for. With the two of pentacles, you have the two of wands. 
So yeah, this is something that you've been waiting for. This is something that you made plans for um, that is finally coming through. With the lovers, you have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant can be your traditions, um, your expectations, conforming to traditions. So this could actually, with the Hierophant and the lovers, this could actually be you. Um, maybe you're engaged and now you're going to be married. Or maybe you are with someone for a while or they're, they're springing the... They're springing the question on you. They want to marry you. Wow, Taurus. Okay. Deep. Yes, they want you. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Four of Swords. So yeah, this is going to bring you a lot of comfort. This is going to put your worries to rest. I feel like... Yeah, I'm feeling like this is... This is like your renewal. This is... This new beginning is like a new... A new venture. A new... A, just a renewal in general. With the Six of Cups, you have the King of Cups again. Okay. So, yeah. Whew. Okay. Taurus in love in November. I wasn't expecting for this to be a love reading at all. And I feel like that's where it's leading to. I feel like someone's going to pop the question. Someone's going to ask you to be there forever. And it's going to... It's going to lead to a happy harvest. I'm not feeling like this is burdens. I'm not feeling like this is burdens. I, I'm feeling like this is your... This is your happy harvest. I'm feeling like you worked very hard. Maybe you worked on a relationship or you worked on yourself. Um, but I feel like this is something that you're destined to go through. Maybe you've been communicating back and forth and now they have... They've let you know that they feel the same way you do. Hmm. With the Queen of Cups, we have the Five of Pentacles. So, let's see. What is this Five of Pentacles? The Five of Cups. So, yeah, I think that you're coming out of Either you or this person that, that you're with is coming out of a relationship. Either you or your person is coming out of a relationship who was not on their level. It left them feeling left out, feeling lacking. It made them feel very disappointed. Um, but I feel like Whatever this is, they've left it behind and they're looking towards a new future. I believe that's why we have this Six of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you have the Wheel of Fortune again. So you are, you are moving. And at the bottom, you have the lovers again. So this is definitely, Taurus, this could definitely be your soulmate. This is, wow.
very deep, very deep, Taurus. Wow, I wasn't expecting this at all. Hmm. With the King of Cups, you have the Six of Wands again. I feel like we had that, that at the bottom. Yeah, we had that at the bottom. So yeah, this, this union with this King of Cups, now this could be a female or a male, this King of Cups. But with this union, you've got the Six of Wands twice. Now you had it in the unexpected, which is at the bottom of the deck, and now you're getting it in the clarification. And you've got several other cards that are coming out. So this is like spirit letting you know that this is actually meant to be. This is something that is, I feel like this is your destiny. You've got the King of Cups twice. you got the Six of Wands twice. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice. You have, you have the Lovers twice. I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for. This is, yeah, this is something that you've been waiting for, Taurus. Hmm. You have the King of Pentacles. Okay. So, this king, and like I said, it could be a male or a female, but this king is going to bring you emotional happiness. Uh, they're going to be kind and generous, thoughtful and wise. Um, they may also be abundant. They may also have a good job. They may also have um, a home that you'll be moving into. Because and I do see that, you know, with the, the Six of Swords, you're, you're moving into a calmer situation. You're you're moving towards you may be relocating but this is gen this is yeah you may be relocating that's what I'm feeling you may be relocating wow okay let's get some clarification uh, from a few more cards let's see get a few more locals. Okay, you have blame. I can accept responsibility for my well-being. So I think maybe you let go of guilt and blame. Yeah, and you also have guilt on the bottom. So I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay, so this, this is actually, I'm, I'm feeling like this is a renewal of your soul here, Taurus. I'm feeling like, have you been putting in the work during this eclipse season? Have you been releasing and purging the things on uh, negativity and, and things that no longer serve you out of your life? Which, you know, all of us should be doing during this season. But I feel, I, I feel like you've done extra work on yourself. I feel like you've been really pampering yourself um, spiritually and physically. And if you haven't, I think you should. You should. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I honor how I want to feel. Okay, so yeah, I think that you've really been doing the work. And at the bottom you have hope is the conduit for miracles. So yeah, I think this is something that you've definitely hoped for. And the miracles are on the way, Taurus. 
I feel like this is going to be a very exciting time for you. I've just started the readings, but already they are looking so promising. Okay, Taurus, uh, this reading is for you. Um, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if I have them uploaded. If I don't, make sure to check back in about two days and you should find your um, sun, moon, and rising. And thank you so much, Taurus. Have a wonderful week ahead. Many blessings to you. Love and light.